the balance sheet now um so just before i start there's just one issue that uh, did come up before and just need to clarify uh, i've got listed in here a bank society transfer of ten thousand euro uh, that banks uh the billing society sorry uh transfer that billing society wasn't listed in the uh, assets and liabilities at the beginning so when i did my original accumulated fund i didn't have that included now so i assumed that that money was put in from somebody else or like some form of grant but if the club already had uh, the building society deposit account and it wasn't listed here in our assets and liabilities uh, then we should have included that uh, as a figure that we have but i decided not to because I treat it as a new money being injected into the club. Okay, so just uh, once we're aware of that. Uh, my figures will still work out, but I have it listed as an, an income of this year rather than just money transferred in, from one bank account to another. So it wouldn't be an income if we already had the money, but I'm presuming we didn't already have the money. Okay, so uh, let's just start by lay, uh, labeling out our uh, And we're looking at Clubhouse. Um, and we have equipment. So the Clubhouse is 550. Uh, the equipment is 26 plus 15, so it's 41. So the uh, depreciation of Clubhouse should be straightforward enough. So it's 550 times three years which is 2% a year uh, multiplied by uh, uh, three years, so that's 6%. So the net book value then is those two taken away. The uh, equipment is a little bit different. So the equipment, so the 26 grand, I had that for uh, a total of three years. So it's times 20% a year times three years. Uh, to that, I'm gonna add the new one that I got. So that's 15 grand times uh, 2% or 20% sorry uh, times uh, 9 twelfths because I bought it on the first of the fourth yeah so subtract those two um, the other that's mentioned is we have an investment which we had calculated earlier on so let's just run back up and find that so that was included in the assets and while I'm here, so the investment is that. Uh, so just making sure, are there any other figures in here? Uh, no, there's no, no other figures in there that are relevant. Okay, uh, so current assets. So we're going to look at the figures we have down the bottom. First of all, we can put our bank figure in because uh, this receipts and payments count is bank. So if we have a balance CD of 83 on the credit side, that means the debit side will have a balance BD. So that means we actually have money in the bank where we had a bank overdraft at the beginning. So 83, uh, 300. Then what do we have down the bottom? So we have bar stock, uh, bar debtors. And we have catering stock. So bar stock is 13.6 minus the catering stock, so it's 13,200. Uh, catering stock is 400. Um, bar debtors is 500. Um, okay. Uh, currently, so we have bar creditors for current liabilities and uh, that's one two three oh and uh, there's also two thousand five hundred wages due and just checking is there anything else so we have got subs prepaid for 2019 so that is uh, a current liability As in, we owe money back to the members because they've paid us too much this year. We owe it back to them. And uh, there's no levy more owed, anything like that. 
no okay uh, that's it so um accumulate fund at the beginning so the figure that we calculated at the very beginning of the question and then we'll add our surplus from this year now the life membership we've dealt with we need to deal with the levy so the levy started off as uh, 30 grand okay and there was some due for last year uh, so that we would have included the fact that that was uh, included in subs means we would have already included in the accounts and because it because it was listed as money due to us we must have already charged that uh, that money so that thousand is included in the thirty thousand so the levy starts off as where are we now so the levy is thirty thousand Plus the new levy for this year, uh, which is uh, 50 times uh, 600 members. So, uh, plus, uh, I'm just going to go up and see where I calculated the new levy. So that's 31. Um, so that's it and there's no other loans or anything else like that so yeah, all the numbers are in there now so what we can do is we can go do the maths and make sure that our balance sheet balances if it doesn't balance we spend one minute at it we don't have the time to go back to it remember most of the marks come from you actually putting the numbers into the question